Welcome back. You're still tuned into Trading R and let's get a conversation going on the markets and some individual stocks as well. Siddharth Kemka of Motila Loswal Financial Services joins us now for exactly that. Siddharth, good morning and thank you for joining us. This is Pavitra and I'm going to dive uh, directly into the stocks because, uh, you know, some of them are moving really well. We have something like a Maruti, which is one of the top gainers. It's up over 2% today. After that solid showing uh, for the second quarter, a lot of the brokerages were also, you know, up to their target price on this. So you take us through how you are looking at the stock. You know, the company has a slew of new launches as well uh, lined up. Do you think there's uh, room for significant upside here? Yeah, very good morning, Pavitra. So uh, company came out with strong results. We saw uh, uh, the uh, revenue, although it is not comparable on a Y and Y basis because of uh, the COVID related issues last year. But still, if you look at the uh, growth, it was pretty strong across revenue, EBITDA, PAT, uh, both on a Y on Y as well as on a Q on Q basis. The volume growth was significant. If you look at uh, uh, it grew 36% on a Y on Y basis, even 11% on a sequential basis. And obviously the, uh, the, the start of the festive season did help them. Uh, what also helped them was the favorable commodity prices. Currency was uh, favorable for them. And uh, they also took price hikes. So all those things came favorable for them. Uh, the key factor was that the... Uh, uh, the company is gaining traction in some of the newer launches. They were missing, uh, there was a big gap in the mid-size SUVs that they had not been present for a very long time. They were present in the entry-level SUVs, but that now gap got filled with the launch of the new Vitara and the Grand, uh, so the new uh, Grand Vitara and the Brezza. So that kind of fills the gap in the, the mid-size SUV segment and it's gaining a lot of traction there. Also, another fact factor was that the semiconductor availability has been easing across the auto sector, be it uh, Maruti, be it for two-wheelers, be it for uh, m, m So that is a positive uh, uh, point for the entire auto sector. So I think uh, Maruti is our preferred pick uh, within the auto space, given its presence and market leadership in the passenger vehicle segment, where we see uh, the threat of EVs being lesser compared to two-wheelers, where the penetration of EVs is seen much faster, and the impact on the incumbents, which are uh, very late uh, entrant into the EV space. So I think uh, that is something which will uh, help Maruti uh, drive about 20% uh, revenue CAGR over the next two, three years. Uh, hence, uh, we like that uh, as our preferred pick within the auto space. Take that point, uh, Siddharth. You know, I'm just looking at uh, a couple of these stocks. Uh, you've, you've been positive on uh, the business model of Nika in the past as against uh, some of the other platform companies. And that stock, as we speak, is up almost 6.5%. They've shifted their uh, record date for bonus by about seven, eight uh, days. Uh, in the interim, we will have that supply coming in uh, with the pre-IPO anchor, pre anchors uh, or rather uh, shareholders opening up as well for supply. What are your thoughts on uh, Nika now? Uh, do you think it's a good time for those who did not get it in the IPO or maybe wait? So, Mangalam, I think uh, uh, although we don't have an official coverage on Nika, I, I, uh, I've been personally seeing this, uh, preferring this business over some of the other new age digital platforms, given A, the, uh, the niche business model that they are present in, where we see consistent growth for the beauty and uh, uh, the personal care segment. Uh, B, the business model of the uh, the omni business channel model that they have adopted of uh, online as well as offline store. And plus, they have already shown profitability. But if you look at what has happened uh, uh, to uh, the platform companies in terms of share price across, uh, uh, is that there was huge demand post listing. But with the sharp fall in the US tech companies, uh, these stocks have also seen a beating with some of these large FIs exiting the stock. And that's a fear now with the some of the large PE investors which had invested pre-IPO. Uh, they could exit once the lock-in gets over because even at these price, they would be making huge profits. I think once the, uh, the dust settles down with the uh, sell-off happening for the pre-IPO investors, I think uh, the stock should find some support. There is some... Uh, rationale for uh, the core business, which does well and they, they swing good growth. So, so we are positive on the overall consumer discretionary space. Uh, this festive season has been positive uh, across segments, be it a Titan, be it some of the auto players. I think uh, Nika should do well, but someone needs to have patience uh, to buy some of these new age businesses and have uh, that kind of uh, holding period to see through the interim uh, volatility and come on the other side of, of this volatility. 
All right, that is on Nika. Siddharth, any of the other new age businesses? Do you like any of the others? Uh, no, so I think uh, we don't have a lot of coverage on this space. Uh, as of now, the, the, these are a bit difficult to look at, for, especially for uh, traditional analysts like us. But I think some of them will do well because the growth potential is huge. I just need to see uh, which one picks up and which one survives uh, among them. That's the question one needs to see. Right. Uh, you know, you spoke about the auto space. You spoke about Maruti. I remember you being positive on some of the auto ancillaries as well. Madison, for instance. Now, uh, how do you, uh, you know, view that company given that the domestic business is doing well, the company is split into two, but the European vertical may be facing some problems because of the weakness that we're seeing in Europe? So, Madison, I think uh, clearly the domestic business, which almost 95% uh, comes from the India uh, wiring harness business and is clearly uh, positioned to benefit from the uh, EV growth in India uh, benefits out of the current growth. We, we Among the two, we like uh, Mothers and Sumi wiring uh, because of its uh, inherent strengths, uh, given the global volatility and uh, the, 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 the business model, which is kind of uh, future oriented. Now, Mothers and the, the Sambardhan Mothers, and, which is uh, largely focusing on the European business, will see uh, pressure in the near term because of what is happening in Europe. Uh, the business model is sound, is, is good. But uh, definitely one needs to uh, wait for the, uh, the European crisis that is currently going on uh, to get over. And we don't know when that will happen and how that will uh, happen. So I think one needs to wait uh, for summer then. But I think clearly uh, we prefer uh, mothers and wiring. All right, got that. Siddharth, another space that you like, which you know pretty much everyone we speak to likes, is the banking and financial services space. What do you like within this space? If you could uh, pick out some names for us. Yeah, Pavitra, so we have been positive on ICICI, SBI. That has been our preferred picks within the overall banking space for quite some time. But incrementally, we are seeing that the uh, the credit cycle in India is picking up. Uh, the, the system credit growth is now almost multi-year high. And with that, a lot of other banks have started reporting strong numbers. So incrementally from here, uh, we like something like an Indusind Bank, which has not, which has now started doing well. We see sharp recovery in its core uh, vehicle finance as well as microfinance business. That is something we like. Uh, among other smaller banks, we like Federal Bank. Again, another smaller bank, which has now started reporting strong numbers. Uh, we see uh, some of these banks now benefiting because of the overall credit uh, growth that the system is uh, witnessing. Uh, we are seeing that companies, uh, the uh, the public capex, the government capex had been very strong, but after a very long period now, uh, the corporate or the private capex cycle is picking up. We are hearing a lot of companies talking about or already started doing capacity expansion to meet the future growth. And that is something that will not only benefit the capital goods sector, but will in a large way uh, have a positive rub off on the banking and financial uh, segment as well. All right, take that point. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, wish you happy festivities, Siddharth. Thank you for joining in. With that, we'll sip into a short break. But as we do that, here's some great news for you investors. You can track the US markets now in real time on moneycontrol.com. In fact, you can log on to the website or even the app. You can stay informed about all that matters in the global market.